Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and it's time to have fun hacking the high-frequency side of Denise's Electrotherapy Skin Rejuvenator to make a DIY plasma globe out of a regular incandescent light bulb and a few other neat tricks. Warning, the following experiment should not be attempted by people with pacemakers, heart condition, in poor health, or pregnant. Do this at your own risk. High frequency machines sell for around $30 on the internet and this is the correct way of using them. For this hack, all you have to do is replace the glass electrode with a solid piece of steel. This increases the conductivity. Do not use this on your skin or you'll get a painful and slightly destructive zap. By insulating the light bulb and attaching the steel chuck to the bulb's base creates a very powerful plasma globe that is activated simply by hand contact. Because the light bulb has a vacuum or inert gas that protects the tungsten filament, the current passes to an area of lower potential creating a corona discharge that is painless to the skin due to the insulating factor of the glass. Holding a steel rod in my hand and placing it close to the electrode creates powerful arcs. These are low in current, so you can't really get a fatal zap. Again, this part of the experiment is not recommended for people in poor health. Holding the electrode close to a compact fluorescent bulb illuminates the gas inside wirelessly, lighting up the bulb. And yes, I am sure Chuck Norris wants his compact fluorescent light bulb back. This works great with any fluorescent bulb and continues to charge the air around it while it is conducting to the homemade plasma globe. Since mylar blankets are metallized, the continuous conductor can be disrupted by simply crumbling up the blanket. This forces the arcs to step across the open gaps creating your own lightning simulator. Cloud to ground, cloud to cloud, and simulated high altitude atmospheric discharges. This is one of our professionally manufactured parabolic mirrors. It has a true mirror aluminum vacuum deposition layer sandwiched between the acrylic on the front and the protective enamel paint on the backside. Grounding the parabolic dish forces the current to pass through the non-conductive enamel paint to the metallized surface below, causing the paint to vaporize along with the aluminum coating beneath. This is my large optical super macro lens that mounts to just about any camera. We're going to be using it to see the destruction up close and personal. This macro footage was shot at 600 frames per second using a high-speed camera. By the way, don't try this with your parabolic mirror or it will get damaged. A regular glass bathroom mirror would be an inexpensive option for this experiment. There are links on our website where you can find the high frequency machine similar to this one for your own experiments. Remember the warnings and keep all electronics away from the arc as I destroyed one microphone and one camera in the filming of this video. I'm your host Dan Rojas, thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.